Let's see how our website looks like in various different screens and probably many of the UI developers already knew but I just learned it very recently. In Firefox, after you click inspect, there is a feature called responsive device mode and once you click that, uh, you will be able to see a list of devices that you could choose from to test how your website looks like and currently if we see our in our landing page there are some issues actually the image looks stretched and even the uh, footer looks pretty messy but more than that now uh, if we go into our main page uh, it is even messier actually so today let's try to fix this using gpt rush ai this is the prompt that we are going to use today and in previous video i haven't touched upon how i construct the prompt but i'll just share a few light on that so um, what i feel is uh, whenever you are prompting to any ai tools uh, try to be more specific and include finer details actually so if we see our current prompt we are asking that can you fix the below react js jsx code so we are specifying the language of the code that we are going to ask it to fix and we also mention what kind of css you are using so i mentioned it is tailwind css and one more thing to notice uh, let's say i uh, just prompt fix the below code it's not looking good in mobile device it will try uh, since that the entire code is not looking good and try to fix everything but here what we are saying is it is looking good in desktop but looking bad uh, uh, bad and also one more thing to stress is uh, since we are using gpt for vision and in gpt rush whenever you are trying out uh, this tool try to mention as seen in screenshot prompt wherever you are uploading a screenshot to uh, interact with uh, the ai tool so wherever you want just specify that as seen in screenshot so that it gets the context where to look and when to look so we are saying that it is looking bad in as seen in screenshot in mobile devices to fix the below code to make it responsive so this is the prompt that we are going to use and let's um, copy the entire uh, code of our uh, main chat view and paste that code here and now let's uh, upload our screenshot so that it gets the context uh, so this is the difference between a chat gpt or google bard and gpt rush so here we are providing screenshot as a feedback so that it could easily understand where what kind of issues to fix or what to build etc so let's go ahead and upload the screenshot and try uh, fixing the css issues uh, right now so it has started to give the code So there are a couple of changes that it has done. So let's uh, copy those changes alone. So it has changed W screen to W full. Uh, so let's change that. And it has added few couple of things in this. So let's copy and paste those. Right. And there is only one more change uh, that it has done in the form page actually. Uh, so let's find that and fix it. Yep, this is the form. So let's. Yep. Fix that. If you see. So this is how it is looking right now. So now we have to actually, uh, it has fixed the CSS issue, but we have to tell it. Uh, how our layout should look like so let's go ahead and do that so this is the additional uh, prompt that we are going to give that um, uh, there are two points that we are going to change one is if it is in mobile we are just going to show only two templates instead of showing the entire template map also we are going to ask uh, the gpt rush to reduce the size of text and border size in template grid if it is viewed in mobile So let's just copy this entire uh, code and replace it with the current one and see how it looks. Yeah, it actually now have conditionally uh, showing only two template if it is in mobile screen and even it has reduced the text sizes actually. 
yeah and i have uh, removed the overflowing item from the sidebar and now this is how our uh, ui look like in mobile devices uh now it's starting to look good so the one issue that i uh, found out is uh, the input text box has a weird alignment and if we see that is because i have a uh, hard coded margin left uh, in the uh, div instead of using tailwind css and bra uh, breakpoints now let's uh, fix this issue so now this is the prompt that we are going to use so we mentioned that the div contains uh, which contains a text area has hard coded margin left instead of using tailwind css properties and we ask you to modify the below code to be responsive and now let's copy just this one line so that it's easy for uh, ipt rush to fix these issues yep we got the code so let's go ahead and copy this uh, class name entirely yep and let's replace our current code with this and now if we see even this uh, width issue is gone so yeah uh, so almost we tried to fix a few css issues uh, so that it becomes responsive so now since our app page is fixed let's go ahead and fix our uh, landing page actually now we have to fix the logo and other uh, header part and uh, even if we see we have to fix the image which is getting stretched so, so in order to fix the landing page uh, this is the prompt that we are going to use and if you see we are starting uh, all things from scratch again i have cleared the chat so this is a tip actually that uh, necessarily we shouldn't continue uh, our uh, conversation in the same thread because that was related to a different code and since we are anyway moving to a new code and fixing those things it is better to clear the chat so that uh, a the pricing uh, gets uh, uh, minimized and even uh, the context uh, of the code gets focused on the current code instead of the uh, AI to learn about other part of the code that we already dealt with. And now uh, to uh, provide the code to GPT Rush, uh, unlike our previous uh, page, uh, which only had, let's say, I'll bring that up again. If you see that had only few code, actually, if you could copy easily the entire code. But here the problem is now for the landing page, there is uh, a separate JSX file and a separate uh, CSS file. And this CSS is a little bit larger. So copying the entire code will be a little bit difficult. Now what we are going to do is we are going to fix it uh, section by section. We will first uh, fix the header section and then move on to subsequent sections. So let's copy all those, uh, just the relevant code now. So let's paste the relevant code. So we have pasted that. And I also have taken a screenshot of the current uh, UI. So we will be providing even that. Uh, like previously so if you see this is a screenshot of how it looks like so that the ai could easily uh, understand where the issues is and start fixing it yep now let's uh, ask gpt rush to fix the issue so yeah let's copy this entire code and uh, let's replace this uh, old header section with the new one hmm? And now let's see how it looks like. Yeah, actually it has removed the uh, other nav items. And um, if we see the uh, response, right? Um, it actually has a place where we can have a toggle which will uh, start displaying the other nav items. Uh, but uh, for now, let's just keep it with this and let's uh, try to fix other uh, sections. Uh, so now this is the follow-up prompt that we are going to uh, uh, use. So now we are saying that the nav bar is fixed and we are asking it to fix the main section and we are listing few items to change. First is to reduce the hero heading and hero subtitle font size. 
to be smaller in mobile and we also ask that to adjust all all elements in product showcase container and we also specifically say that the product image looks stretched in mobile and again i am going to paste uh, the relevant code uh, here uh, both the jsx and the css file and let's see So yeah, let's uh, copy the main section code and let's replace our current uh, main section code with the new one and let's also copy the media queries that it has provided to the CSS page and now if we see uh, the title fonts are uh, smaller uh, uh even the button has been fixed and even the image actually is uh, smaller right now so now only issue that is left is actually the footer section so let's fix that so once again we have cleared the chat and uh, uh, have a prompt to fix the footer section which is uh, same as previous just that i have changed the fix header to fix footer section and now let's copy the entire uh, jsx code and paste that here and let's also paste the css code And we also going to provide the screenshot like earlier. So this is the footer section, um, how it currently looks like, which is a pretty mess. Now we are going to provide this as a feedback to our AI so that it will understand uh, how it looks like and what needs to be fixed. So let's provide that and try to ask it to fix the issue. So if you see, it has mentioned that uh, uh, it seems that footer elements are displayed in a row and are squeezed together on mobile devices. So yeah, it is giving a good uh, code. Let's get that. So now let's copy the entire footer code and let's replace the current one with the new code and see how it looks like. Yeah, I think it is pretty much solved right now. Uh, yeah. Uh, so everything is fixed right now. Uh, so just as a summary of a fix, now this is how uh, it uh, looks in uh, mobile. And if we see currently, this is how it looks in the uh, browser. So it uh, the browser, however it looks, it remained same. Uh, just that how it looks in the mobile has been changed right now and if we see start generating the main app page previously looked something like this and now we changed that to looking something like this and even in the current page uh, like that remains as same so now that's how we made uh, the ui uh, responsive and adapting to the different screen sizes using gpt rush ai so let's catch up in next video.